YTBC What's the Deal. So one of the heavyweight prospects I've done prospect watch videos on. Um, I've highlighted him in numerous videos. Um, he was set to fight Gerald Washington on that Leo Santa Cruz Kiko Martinez undercard. Um, and then he was set to fight Gerald Washington on that undercard. And I made a video February 25th telling you guys that that fight was canceled due to Oscar Rivas. Um, he failed a California State Athletic Commission eye exam, a pre-fight eye exam. Um, we know that in 2011, he had multiple eye surgeries. Um, I believe on his retina in 2011. I think before then he had some eye surgeries. But, uh, you know... Oscar Rivas, man, is 18-0 with 13 KOs, 28-year-old guy, 2008 Olympian, fighting, you know, fights, uh, he's from Colombia, but he moved his professional career up there in Canada. I was very disappointed when that fight got canceled. I didn't know what was going to go on with Oscar, if this meant the end of his career. Is it just um, a thing here in America where they're not going to license him? But then I really researched and looked, and I seen that all his fights had pretty much been in Canada except for one against Jason Petaway that was in uh, Washington. So he, you know, passed their eye exam and that was June uh, 2015 when, when he fought Jason Petaway. So maybe it's a California, uh, you know, maybe he just couldn't pass their test, you know. So I don't know if he if he comes back to America, maybe he can fight in Washington again or New York or maybe Vegas, wherever that, uh, you know, give him a pass. But the thing is, I don't want this guy to lose his vision, man. You know, I'm not one of these guys that want these guys going there, lose your vision, lose your hearing, lose your, you know, sense of uh, taste and smell. I'm not one of those type of fans, man. I like knockouts. I like, the, you know, uh, guys going there in the wind decisively by KO preferably, but I'm not one of these just bloodthirsty people that want to see these guys damaged and injured for the rest of their life. So I pray that Oscar Rivas, um, you know, isn't just taking fights, man, to, you know, possibly blind himself, man. But it's happened before in the sport, you know, fighters, man, they fighters are, are different than natural, normal people, man. You know, they do this shit for a living. So there's some fighters, I'm not saying Revis thinks this way, but there's some fighters This, you know, I've heard uh, Marvin Hagler one time say about his pinky, like, man, I would have cut my pinky off to fight so-and-so, you know what I mean? I mean, so fighters are different, you know, look at Vladimir, uh, not Vladimir, but Vitaly Klitschko when he fought Lennox, half his face was, was fucking, his skin was coming off, man, and he was fighting the referee not to stop the fight, so, I mean, there's so many examples, man, so on and so forth, um, Sam Lankford was even fighting his fight blind and legally blind in one eye, you know, so on. So there's a lot of stories, a lot of different examples. But Oscar Rivas is back in action uh, June 4th against Jeremy Bates. And that fight will be at the Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec. So eight rounder. I'm picking Oscar Rivas to win this fight. Uh, you know, Jeremy Bates, 42 year old veteran. It's funny because Reeve is going to come into this fight having the height advantage and the reach advantage. And he's a short for this division. He is a short guy with a short reach, you know, being six feet with a 76 inch reach. Um, Bates is 5'10 with a 72 inch reach. He's 42 years old. Uh, Bates, after his loss to Sergey Lyakovich, 2009, then he fought uh, another fight. 2011 and after that fight he took four years off and he came back and he had some fight against some other journeymen and he is coming to this fight on a four fight win streak i will say that you know so he took off he stopped fighting 2011 came back in 2015 and he's had three fights so he's been active but uh he came back at his career high he came back weighing you know uh 250 pounds 240 some odd pounds um his highs of his career you know, he's came in other fights at 228 and 240, but he's came in his career high. Uh, his last fight came in at 251, along with the age. I know he's been a little bit active, but I expect Rivas to win this fight. I think uh, probably round three, four, maybe, maybe earlier. I just see a, a overhand right crashing him and probably putting him down. Um, Bates has been in there with a lot of guys, man. Evander Holyfield, Galata, uh, man. 
I can't think of every single body. Um, he's been with quite a few people. I can't think of everybody. Brian Mento, um, Lyakovich, some other guys I know I'm forgetting. Um, did he fight Kirk Johnson? I, th I thought he fought Kirk Johnson too, but journeyman level guy, man. You know, journeyman level guy. So 42 years old. So I expect Revis to win this fight. Um, I'm just worried about his eye, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about his eye because I just want to see all these guys, re, you know, maintain their faculties after the sport, man. You know, but uh, Revis has, you know, the amateur pedigree. He, you know, like I said, he was an Olympian. He actually beat Kirbat Pulov. That fight's on YouTube. You should go watch it. Uh, he beat Kirbat Pulov in the Olympics. Was able to get inside and pressure Pulov a little bit. Um, then he ended up losing to Roberto Camarelli, who actually won the gold that year. I know Camarelli, he beat David Price. That was the year Price was in the Olympics. And uh, Zhang Zhili, both of those guys are fighting right now in the pros. But I just think Oscar Rivas, man, you know, being a, a shorter heavyweight and because there's the heavyweight division is full of giants, man. Six foot four and up all the way to six nine, you know, just and these guys are rated, you know, these not just big guys that are just around. I mean, these guys are Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Klitschko, Joshua, list goes on and on. I even, I mean, I'm even getting into debates with fans that feel that uh, Joseph Parker would be a better cruiserweight. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I've been in debates with people like, dude, he's 6'4", 235, 40 pounds. I mean, we're getting to the day where 6'4", 240 is small to some fans, so... Revis, I mean, his weight, you know, his his weight, he's solid. 235, 240, he's solid. Now, I've seen a few times he'll come in at 250. Uh, I don't know if he comes, should come in at 250. Uh, Joey Abel, his last fight, that fight's on YouTube. He knocked Abel out in the second round. Good right hand, some hooks. And that win against Abel's looking a little bit better. Joey Abel just came back and beat uh, John Wesley No Fire a few weeks ago. I did a post fight. Uh, no Fire, Heyman fighter. He was 19-0. and 0. And Joey Abel bloodied and uh, put him down and got him out of there. So that win over Joey Abel is looking a little bit better for my man Oscar Rivas. But um, I don't know, man. Uh, as far as this fight, though, I'm picking Rivas to win. But to me, he's 28 years old. And I believe if any smaller heavyweight guys that are 6 feet, 5'11", five, 5'10", five, for those type of guys, man, I think for them to really have success is going to have to be a guy that's in his physical prime. Amir Mansoor isn't as short. He isn't 5'10", but he's a shorter heavyweight, 6'1", you know, somewhere in that height range. But uh, he's a different beast as far as um, his dogged attitude and his just being so committed to the sport. And uh, a lot of guys don't have the fire in them like Amir Mansoor for an old guy like that. He did prison time. I mean, he, he just had a lot of fight. He had a lot to fight for. His mental makeup is a lot different than just fighters period uh, let alone a small heavyweight but um <clears throat> everybody's not a mere man sore you know what i mean um I, but what i feel is if uh guys that are going to be fighting at the heavyweight division that are that small they're going to have to be in their physical prime because i believe that style has a shelf life and some of you may disagree but guys like uh frazier and, and tyson and um marciano in my opinion just my opinion you can have yours and please share it with me I believe that style, even for the all-time greats, even the all-time greats, man, Jack Dempsey, I believe that style, especially if you're an active fighter, that style at its best, at its best, at its best, to me, there's like a four, uh, probably a five-year run that you can have to be very successful using that style, that come forward, aggressive type style. I'm not saying come forward and throw caution to the wind and you're going wild, no, but stalk people down and try to get them out of there being a shorter guy i believe you have to be in your prime to really uh get over with that style with today's heavyweights i don't think you can be an old guy or get past your physical prime and beat these bigger guys because at the end of the day they can just lean on you if they want to and just zap all the energy out of you wrap you up on the inside um that's just my opinion. Now, I know some of you going to say, oh, well, so-and-so fought. Well, well, I'm not saying you can't fight past your prime being a small guy at the heavyweight division. I'm just saying I believe to do your best work, you got to be in the prime of your life. That helps. Brevis is 28 years old, so he's 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 in his physical prime. So I believe he's going to have to make he's going to have to uh, call some noise right now. 
you know, not when he's 35, 30 is, I don't think that's going to work. It's just my opinion, man, but I believe he's going to have to start mixing up. I know he was, you know, he wanted to fight Gerald Washington, but he, you know, the eye exam, he didn't pass. So I just hope this guy's vision isn't uh, going to hinder him in this fight with Jeremy Bates. And I hope his handlers just don't keep him up in Canada because they know that he'll pass their eye exam and so on and so forth. I'm not accusing them of anything because I don't know, but um, I just know this guy's, you know, had surgery on his retina and he had eye problems, you know what I mean? So. I'm just getting this uh, fight out there. Oscar Rivas will be taking on Jeremy Bates. He's back. I want to see him fight in America, or maybe one of the Americans go up there and fight him. You know, um, there's some fights there in Canada I wouldn't mind seeing. I don't know if they can be made or not, but uh, a fight with Dylan Carmen would be good. Uh, Alexander Teslinko. There's some good fights up there I think they could be made. You know, so just my opinion. Just getting it out there to you guys, and this is a guy that I've been wanting to watch, man. So hopefully this Jeremy Bates fight will be uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, fight will take place this weekend, so hopefully it's on YouTube and I can do a post-fight review. YTBC, I'm out.